front loader washer bearings part two the next major step is to completely expose the front of your machine if you have a newer generation that uses the plastic piece in the kick plate all you have to do is remove the door remove these two pieces and the lock mechanism and you're pretty much ready for the next step with the older generation like this you have to remove the entire front plate here uh, to start with you have to get these bolts on the bottom I don't know if you can see them it's 7 16 if you can't get it with the impact driver and wrench you can just get in there from underneath with the grinder and cut them both right off uh, you might have to tap a little bit with a hammer to get it to pop back uh, before you get the whole front off though you're gonna need to get the door off uh, there's really no need to take the whole hinge apart that's just extra work you can take two of the nuts off with the open end wrench and the other two with the socket on the impact driver and then once your doors off i like to use it as a dish to hold all my hardware uh, with your door off and these two cut you're going to want to come up top you're going to have to remove the soap dish just detach the hose clamp from underneath and fold it back like that one and the t20 bit here will take out this screw there's one here and one here to hold the control tray in place and you're going to have to loosen and remove this 7 16 nut so you get the nut off the control tray loose you're going to have to remove the timer uh, it's 7 16 again there's one on the side two on the top and one on the bottom for the one on the bottom uh, universal joint on an extension works very well you also have to unplug the wires for the on and bleach light here and then lift the timer out of the way with this off you have to pivot the control tray to get it off of the, the bolt here but that you can lift towards the back of the machine uh, i use a block of wood just to help hold this up out of your way and expose it now you're gonna have the front plate still on with the lock ring they put them together with this setup at the factory that's all well and good but by yourself it is very short and very hard to put back together with these i just go ahead and cut it right off if you have room to get the grinder in here it's a lot easier to cut with that if not that's where you can get your saws all in just cut it it'll pop apart and you're done later on when you go to put it back together i like to use just a long 7 16 bolt it gives you a lot more room to work with if you can't find a bolt about this long you can just buy threaded threaded rod, cut it to the length you want, and lock two nuts together on one end. Uh, once that's off, you're going to need a screwdriver to pry the shell front off of the machine. If you have room, you're better off coming from the top. In case you damage the foam ring, it's less important up top. If you can't, get it from underneath, but work your way around, pry it, and it'll pop right off. Now, once you have these off, it is one of the most critical things with rebuilding these machines is everything has to be clean you can't seal it if it's dirty so with this plate here uh, it works well to put it on top of a trash can to hold it but you're going to want to use the grinder with the cup wire wheel and do a good job polish this edge all the way around it should be very shiny it needs to seal there and then with your drill with the wire wheel on the end you're also going to want to go around and clean this edge very good if you chew up the foam a little that's fine it doesn't matter uh, if your foam is like coming apart, just rip the whole thing off and polish the entire edge all the way around. 